Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another brand new video on my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a great day and first of all, take a moment to notice the quality improvement in the video of this. Take a moment to notice the quality improvement in the video and that is because I bought the Canon T5i as I said in my last video and I don't know, I'm still learning the camera so it might not be in its best quality possible but it sure should be better than what I had before. So in today's video, we're going to be learning how to patch applications in the sense get free in-app purchases, remove Google Ads and remove verifications and all that stuff. This was requested to me by someone on my video who commented, I'll put the comment right here so you guys can see and yeah, so let's get started with today's video. So to do the patching, you need an application called Lucky Patcher. Now I will leave the links in the description for you to go ahead and download the APK file and install it. Now I'm going to show you as an example for two different applications that this works. The first one will be called Mono Golf, which I will be getting free in-app purchases for. And the second one will be called Rider, which has advertisements on it and I will take them away. Now let's get started. So assuming that you have already gone ahead and installed the APK and the application, I'll show you that the apps that I'm trying to get have in-app purchases and ads on them. So this is the first application. Let me go ahead and as you can see in upgrades, you can actually pay and buy stuff. Now if I go and try to get that in-app purchase, it'll tell me that I have insufficient balance and I need to pay money. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Lucky Patcher application, which I can find, hopefully. There you go. Open up the application and just wait a second. All right, so once it's loaded up, you can choose all, you can see all your applications and you can choose whichever one you want and go here to menu of patches. And keep in mind, this application does not require root. However, if you do have root, it'll be easier for you. Now, once I'm in the patches menu, I'm gonna go and choose create modified APK file and I have a bunch of selections. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose ABK Rebuild for in-app and LVL emulation. LVL emulation means level emulation so you can hack or patch whatever game you want. And I'm going to choose Rebuild the app and I'm just going to give it a second. Okay, now it says patch pattern at number one, success number two, success, and number three and four have failed. However, you're not gonna get success on all four, most likely, so just choose, go to file and choose uninstall and install, right there, and choose yes. So what this will do is it'll uninstall your official app and it'll prompt you to install the modified APK that we just created using the application. All right, sweet. Now, once that is installed, you can go ahead and open it up. It opens the same way as before. I'm going to choose right hand again, upgrades. Now, this time, let's see, obtain all 55 levels and the four upgrades. And as now, when I press it, I get this in-app purchase hack, whatever, little box from the Lucky Patcher application. I don't have to do anything but press yes. Boom, done. Now let's open up a game and see if it worked. There you go. I have 55 lives, which means the in-app purchases have been made. And as you can see, they're now grayed out, which means that I have all of these done and I have got the full version of this application and that's it. Now I'm going to show you how you can remove app ads from applications. So here's the app that we're using as the example. It's called Rider and it's by a well-reputated company called Ketchup. I love their games. However, their ads can be really annoying. And in fact, these ads are kind of spam ads as they are very common throughout the game and it just becomes almost unplayable. However, this video is only for educational purposes. So I do recommend purchasing actual in-app purchases as you can see an ad already popped up and there's another ad on the bottom and as you can see it's already throwing us with ads in our face so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and force quit that go to lucky patcher 
and find the application and go to menu of patches like we did before and choose create modified apk file this time instead of going and choosing apk rebuild for in-app we're going to choose apk without google ads and i'm just going to press ok Okay, there we go. It finally finished. It took a long time. Now, once it's done, we choose go to file like before, uninstall and install, and just press yes. Now, we uninstall the official file that we got from the Play Store, and we reinstall the modified APK file with no Google Ads at all. Okay, there. Now I managed to get into the menu. As you can see, if I close this, there are no ads. There are no Google ads. The only ads that show up now are the Catch App built in ads, which you cannot remove because the application vendor just pre put them inside. And those are permanent, but the Google ads you had before, you're not going to get any more. There's not going to be Google pop ups, nothing. And you basically have an ad free game now. Now, there are a lot of more patches in this application but i'm not going to go through each and all of them and i just want to mention out to you guys that not all applications are compatible with this patching method and only a certain amount and some applications work if it's an online based game chances of it working are low so if it's something like clash of clans or something where it relies on the internet to function i doubt it'll work but if it's an offline game most likely it will work however it's worth giving it a shot and it'll work on almost any other application that has ads and whatever so yeah give it a try hope you guys learned something and if you did be sure to share the video with your friends give it a like and also subscribe to the channel because you're gonna get a lot more awesome content especially with this new camera so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this is tech alpha see you guys in the next one peace